And you know what, partner? I'm sure that every one of us here are excited to see and what does our official candidates for the Miss Universe of Philippines and Wonka 2025. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, on stage, let's uh, help us walk and let's, let's give a big round of applause for our to our official candidates. Also, I want to encourage them to speak 
out of what's uh, really going on on their relationship. And also, I want to encourage all the women to have their own uh, source of income to be financially stable. With that, they can escape an abusive partner or relationship. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mary Pierre Kiranti Tim Tim. I am 24 years young and I am representing Falcatan Street, Barangay Teduan. So ladies and gentlemen, it may not seem as though, but I am a severe depression survivor and I committed suicide multiple times in a row, which is very wrong and please do not do it. So that's why I have this tattoo in my wrist to cover up my actual cuts. So since then, I've always questioned my existentialism and asked to what really is my purpose in this world. So that's when I realized and concluded that I should use pageantry as a platform to inspire everyone and to advocate for psychological and emotional wellness um, education, to inspire others to change their disposition in life, and to encourage everyone that there is a warrior in each and every one of us. And let us not be ashamed of the scars that we have because these are actual proofs of the battles that we have fought and eventually won. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am Vanessa Khan, 18, representing G1. My advocacy is all about women empowerment and infertile women. This goes for the woman who cannot physically bear a child or doesn't have the ability to do so. Why is this my advocacy? Because I used to have an aunt who stood as my mother and she was not able to bear a child. But despite this, I am standing here to tell you that we women should not be limited to the gender stereotype of being in this world and being a medium of bearing a child. But we should be someone who is a torchbearer that can inspire and gather all the opportunities available in this world. Because we women are limitless. And I believe I am standing here to inspire all of the women in here today. Good evening. Stephanie the Penis Cruz, 21, Labuan. Before I tell you my advocacy, I would like to share you a story. When I was in my senior high school level, I was wearing a school uniform and I was going home. So I was riding a tricycle. Then I met a tricycle driver. I think he was at my age. So he asked me, Ate, anong pakiramdam nag-aaral? And I told him it was good, it was tired, but then we learned a lot of things in life. Then he actually shared me a story. It was one of the most heart-touching and one of the most memorable stories that I've heard in my entire life. He told me, Alam mo ate, gusto ko din makapag-aaral. Ngunit dahil sa hirap ng buhay, pinili ko ang mamasada para mapag-aaral ko ang mga bata kong kapatid. And through that, I chose my advocacy, empowering futures, prioritizing out-of-school youth for a better tomorrow. I believe that this universe platform, we could use this not only to promote beauty, but also to inspire others, to listen to their stories. And I believe these youths need to go back in school. At the young age, they are working because they need to feel their summer. They are looking for shelter and clothing. And I think this platform, we must hear their story, will be united to help them, bring them back to school, because education can help them to learn into jobs, education can help their personal growth, and as well as to give them a brighter future. I believe that as a candidate, we are not just here to represent ourselves, but we are here for causes. And I hope that my advocacy will align with these kids, because these kids have dreams in life, and their dreams in life just like me. I wanted to be a beauty queen, a doctor, a teacher, and I hope we support that, not only into other organizations, but these organizations as well. Because nothing is the, nothing in this world that is more admirable seeing the faces of the smile of the children. And that would be all. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I am Zavi Tanteo, a working student and a graduating student in ALS Life Support Services as a young student. So, let's start. My advocacy is health, health equality. Because as a person who has experience in medical field, I can see all the effort of the medical workers just to serve an equal and good treatment. Um, 
you know, honestly, there's nothing so much special about my advocacy. But what makes it special? It's about that in a young mind, I'm capable to think a good thing, not just for me, but to all the people. So I will be the voice to continue the health equality thing here. Of three rescues and a passionate 
advocate for animal wellness, I stand before you with a heart full of compassion and a vision for a more humane and loving world for all creatures. Our country is blessed in rich biodiversity and we have this deep cultural bond with our animals. However, it is not enough to ensure that each and every animal, whether you walk the streets, roam the wild, or even share our home, is treated with the care and respect that they deserve. My advocacy is not simply for the protection of our animals and pets. It is about fostering a culture of kindness, empathy, and responsible stewardship in our communities. I believe that through education and community involvement, and most importantly, a stronger enforcement in animal welfare laws, we can create a society where all living beings are cherished. So let us walk this path together simply for the love of all life. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sarah Alshiha San Roque. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jess Sanders, 24 years old, uh, representing San Street Barangay Kumaga. I passionately advocate creating a safe place for young and single mothers. I stop joining the pageants for the love that I have for my daughter. But Miss Universe Philippines of Bagu City opens the door for me. They gave me the opportunity to continue my first love, which is joining pageants. I am here strongly standing in front of you to influence every young and single mother that no matter what happened in your past, it will not remain as your past, but it will remain as a lesson for us to continue and dreaming, to continue your dream. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rilan, Bachelor of Elementary Education. You know what? Even if, even if I'm young at that time, I'm not thinking negativities. I remain positive. I remain to continue on starting time. In my young age, that time I was just 20 years old when I gave birth. But I always believe that I can do it. I always believe that no matter uh, what I've done in my past, I can still continue. And by that time, I was able to build three businesses. And two weeks ago, uh, I just received a job offer from Southern Pacific as a flight attendant. Why am I saying this? Because I wanted you to be inspired that not because of that one mistake, everything will end. But with that mistake, it will continue and become a successful woman. And let's continue to become a strong, independent woman. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sofia Tolentino, proud and honored to represent Barangay Talabaan. I am here standing in front of you to advocate for urban farming. For I know that this is not just a movement in transforming our cities, but also our relationship with food and our relationship with nature. Thank you so much. Because I strongly believe that the young minds need to be empowered by equipping them with self-defense skills and to build confidence, foster mental strength, and build a proactive mindset. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Tracy Mae Sanchez, 17 years old, proudly representing Barangay Talon Talon. I am advocating for human rights for all individuals, regardless of their backgrounds, beliefs, gender identity, and status in life. They deserve to be treated with dignity, respect, and equality. Thank you. Buenas tardes, que ustedes todos. I am Kai Anatilano, 20 years old, and I am representing
authentic barangay Tatoa. Working with World Vision in a span of three months has been an eye opener for me. It has shown me some pressing issues that has not yet come to light. Where children are being stripped of their rights to learn, grow, and are robbed of a childhood. For a child once told me, he opens doors at a convenience store for a living. And it's heartbreaking for me to hear this because no child needs to worry about financial stability or making a living at a young age. He only has to worry about his assignments or if he has time to play outside. That is why I want to use my voice and my platform to make their voices heard. They need a sustainable future, for they are our future. That is why I advocate for a sustainable future for them. Thank you. A pleasant evening to everyone. I am Angeline Daniel Isabella Santo Domingo, 17 years of age, from Barangay to Bunga. Let me tell you the reason on why this was my advocacy. Growing up, I come from a financially unstable family. And because of this, my grandparents, they passed away because affording health care was hard for them. And it saddens me to see that not only my family experiences this, but almost every Filipino family experiences as well. So that is why my advocacy is accessible health care for every Filipino elderly. This advocacy of mine focuses on ensuring that every single Filipino, regardless of your age, can get the quality health care that they deserve. That is why my advocacy implores the government to listen to the voices of those who are suffering, to recognize the urgency of this issue, and to take decisive actions. Let us create a world, a world where financial barriers do not determine the quality of health care you are getting. I stand before you as a voice for change, a voice that echoes the hopes and dreams of countless individuals who have been denied the right to accessible health care. Let us build a health care system that values human life above all else, where regardless of your age, your financial status, your gender, or your sexuality, you can get the quality health care that you deserve. Together, you, me, we can ensure that no more lives are lost due to the lack of access to health care. Thank you. Good evening. Stephanie Gala Simpson, 26, Tulunga. Let me tell you about my advocacy. Empowering every voice set a brighter future. Some may say that I'm too ambitious to have this kind of advocacy. Dreaming that every voice to be heard. Voices of abuse. Voices for those girls who have been addicted. Voices for those experiencing mental health. But let's take a pause. Let's think for a minute. Did you even got in your moment in life where you can see someone you love suffering? Seeing it in their, in their eyes, the sadness, the suffering that they cannot speak of. And I know in that moment in your life, you wanted to be that voice. That's why I'm standing here in front of you. It's because it's my advocacy to be your voice. Because I believe my voice, your voice, and everyone's voice matters. Good evening, and thank you. Good evening, Sobong Kenyans. I am Casey the Fiesta, 20, Barangay to Maga. My advocacy is simple yet profound. So let us be the guardians of everyone and let us, be, and let us protect them with the same passion that we have for our tradition and culture. And my, my, and I hope to advocate And I hope to advocate and use my platform.
platform for our culture and tradition here in Zamboanga City. And this is my platform to, to raise awareness and increasing the significance of our increasing awareness about the significance of the Zamboanga's unique biodiversity. Thank you. Hola, Zamboanganas. This is Shaira Sally, 21 years old, all the way from Upper Calabria. I am an advocate of physically fit bodies that leads to a healthier and happier life. Together, together, if we can inspire one another to embrace fitness, to embrace fitness that leads to a healthier life. Ladies and gentlemen, let us make a promise to ourselves and to other people. Let us make a promise that we will take care of our bodies for us to live a happy life. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rose Alpantaliong Lumibao, 24, representing Barangay Vitali. Over the years, I have been exposed to the public, not only as a beauty queen who works in the sash of Barangay Vitali across her park, but also as someone who works for different government and non-government organizations. I've worked with different school organizations and got the opportunity to represent SMOM in a university-wide competition. I am a registered peer educator for STI at Chimeanates under the Department of Health, Region 9. I also share my expertise to the SSCSP, an organization under LODC and Philippine Air Force. I've been an active advocate in promoting and upholding the rights of students with special needs and special needs children in general. For over the two years ago, I've been working with Miss Universe, Miss Philippines Earth Zamboanga City Organization for Cultural and Environmental Preservation. As of the moment, I am the Vice President of Zamboanga City Forest Club Federation who upholds the rights of our young Filipino farmers. Lastly, and most importantly, I am actively working in my barangay as one of the SK members. Why am I saying this? Is it for me to brag my credentials? No. I am saying this because I want you to look at me as someone who don't limit herself to one advocacy alone. As someone who advocates for youth, particip youth engagement through the 10 areas of youth participation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what our young people should realize. That we have the power to create possibilities and changes in our communities. If we draw, if we draw inspiration from our resources, together let's continue to push the limits of possibilities through our young people. Because as cliche as it may sound, ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. I am Rosa Patalio Lumiba representing Barangay Vitali, and I am always saying this: I am a youth for the youth. Mula sa kabataan para sa kabataan, good happiness para na magahabenes. Gracias. Thanks.